Are you needing to downsize your home? I know that a lot of people have kids that have grown up, they've moved off to college, you get that emptiness syndrome. A lot of times when people are looking to sell their home, they need to downsize. You know, that 4,000, 5,000 square foot family home with five bedrooms and four baths has served them well, but now that it's just you know, one or two people in the household, they maybe don't need all that space. So if that's you, then I want you to listen up because I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the process of downsizing. The first thing that you need to think about is how much space do you think you will need in the future? Obviously, you're not going to need as many bedrooms, but you do want to consider the fact that if you have people that come over for you know, the holidays, you want a place for them to stay and feel comfortable. You're probably still going to want to have a decent sized kitchen, living room, dining area. Again, so that when family events occur, you have a space for entertaining. What I hear from a lot of people is that they're thinking 2,000 to 2,500 square feet is probably going to be sufficient for what they need. Now, some people do go smaller than that. But if you're going from a 5,000 square foot house down to even, let's say, 2,500, that's half the size. So what you need to realize is that everything you have in that 5,000 square foot house is not going to fit in a 2,500 square foot home. So I know a lot of times when you talk to a realtor about putting your house on the market, you hear declutter and take things out, you know, put them in storage, sell them, whatever the case may be. If you're looking to move into a house that's half the size of yours, then you're going to have to get rid of a lot of that stuff, not just to make your home more appealing to buyers and to get it sold, but in thinking towards the future of how am I going to fit all this stuff? If you do have children that have grown up and moved out of the house, you definitely want to get with them and say, hey, we're going to be putting our home on the market we're going to need you to come and take anything that was in your room in this space out. Some things you may want to put in storage. So there may be some items that, you know, you don't necessarily have room for in a new house, but they have sentimental value. They've been passed down. And so you want to find storage for that. The second thing to realize when you're downsizing your home is that it's going to be smaller. And I say that with a grin because a lot of people talk to me and they say, yeah, we need to downsize. You know, we're, we're tired of living in this huge house that we don't need anymore. But then when we go into 2,500 square foot homes, they're like, oh, this bedroom is just so small. Or, you know, I just don't feel like my, my furniture is going to fit in this living room. You have to understand that when you move to a smaller house, the room sizes are going to be smaller as well. So sometimes that's going to help you know what furniture you can take with you and maybe you do need to invest in new furniture if you have a large living room suit that's not going to work in a smaller space. The third thing you need to realize is that an unfinished basement can work wonders for you in the future. So a lot of times people do want like a den area or an apartment area for either, you know, parents, children, whoever, to be able to come over, hang out, and, and not be like in your way, so to speak. So looking at a house with an unfinished basement can actually work in your favor because then you can finish that basement out to be whatever space you need it to be. And homes with an unfinished basement will be priced a little bit better than if that house had a finished basement already. And if it has a finished basement, is it going to work for you? Is it going to work for the purpose that you need it to? So those are some things I would tell you. If you're looking to downsize, then you probably need to start this process maybe three to six months before you're actually ready to go on the market so that you're not feeling pressured, you're not feeling rushed, and you can make wise decisions about what to keep and what to give away and what to put in storage. If you're thinking about downsizing and you need a good realtor to help you get your home sold, I would love to be the one you call. My name's Amy Schrader. I'm with Remax Real Estate 10 in Morristown. My number is 423-748-8811.